Hello there and welcome again. This is the second tutorial uh, about the external EEP room, which is the AT24C256C. Okay, it's I2C compatible EEP room, serial EEP room. And the uh, first tutorial we have learned already how to <coughs> sorry read and write from this EEP room, however. As we said before, this is not the correct way and not the optimal way to write the data to the EEP room. As we can see here, it has a limited cycles of writing. So it's better to um, improve the writing algorithm that we have uh, wrote last time in the first tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will learn how to uh, uh, improve this uh, algorithm or improve this function to uh, get the maximum life cycles out of this AEP room. And again, as we said before, uh, I already connect the A0, A1, A2 to the ground. So my uh, address of this chip will be uh, 57 hexa, ground connect to the ground. VCC to 5 volt, right protection, um, I believe it's also to the ground, because if you connect to VCC, it will be protected. <clears throat> and I don't want to protect it for the time being, because I still need to program it. SCL to SCL of the Arduino SDA to the SDA. Okay, so let's go and see how we will do the functions or improve the functions to maximize the writing cycles. Okay. So here, as we can see, this is our old program where we use it to write. Mm -hmm. Where is it? This is our frequency that we talk first uh, tutorial. And here, here we write, okay? And then we retrieve again, we read it there. <coughs> we read the addresses, uh, we read the data again, okay? So if we upload, Let's see. This is the old program. Then we will see how we can improve it from here. Okay. Here we go. This is the list and boom. Okay. Here we read. We have written all the frequency, frequency address, uh, the frequency number. Address one two three. Okay. It stored at address. Actually, this is frequency number data, not dress here. And let's correct this. That red. Let's see number. We just delete this. <coughs> okay. Okay, let's see now. Okay, now much better. The frequency this is stored at address this. This is okay. This is the old tutorial, okay, our old program. But this one, whenever we close and open again, it will rewrite and rewrite again and again. See. Whenever we open again, it will rewrite again. This is not the good way of doing this, or to deal with the AEP room. So the better way is to, instead of overwrite, we have to check first if we are writing the same, even so now, even though it's the same data, we're still overwriting it. We're still writing it again and again, even though it's the same. So better is to check if the data is still the same. I mean, we read this address first, if the data we want to write is the same, then no need to write, just keep the writing. Okay, let's see how we can do this. Okay, so here all will be the same. The thing will be changed start from here. Okay. So instead of instead of we write, we will make a new function. This one just comments. 
we will do EDP rule update function. Okay. And here all will be the same. When we come to here, we will make a new function. Mm, yes, yeah. Copy. We will call this, this one is the EEP update function. Okay, update function and take the same uh, parameters. Mm -hmm. Take the address, the device address, and the, the cell address and the data that we want to store it. So first of all, okay, we have to check if, we have to check, I mean, we read the address that we are sending here. If the address has the same data, we just skip it. Okay, so if read, um, if read EEP row, of device address and the e address okay if this one if we read this cell is not equal to data okay if they're not equal what we will do? We will do the writing here. <coughs> we do the writing here. Okay, if the data they are not equal, if this were not equal, we do writing. And then else if they are equal what we can do we just skip okay later we see how we skip so we come to here first here let's add some <clears throat> some cl print to explain more so first of all let's say serial Print. All data is. And before we print, we want to see what is the all data. It's just for for um, to make it easy for us to understand. The later we can just take it out. Okay, then we just mm, we use Syria print mm, I guess we print this but uh, print all yes okay let me check this one for this this for this okay good then we have another serial print What will bring this time? Mm. Let's say this one was stored at address equal to. Ah, I forgot the double quotation. This data was address here. Then serial dot print. E address. Okay, we 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 print the address. Okay, good. Then serial dot print. Print what? Well. 
writing the new data is done. I believe this one should be right line. Yes, yeah, so we can go to the another line. Okay, so here we'll check. Okay, this is the old data, writing new data. Okay, this is blah, blah, blah. Then we start to talk to the device. This is all we talk about it in the previous tutorial. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, I believe. So what else we can do? Aha. Uh -huh. We go. We now we go for the else else uh, method. Else, what we will do? We do serial <coughs> print. The data. Add this. Add address. So we do Syria dot print. Now we print the address, the EE address, this one. And then serial dot print line. Yes, yeah, so we can go to the new line. Yes, this is the one. Mm, okay, let's add some delay here, but uh, to make it more stable. Okay, and the uh, EEP room right, we just keep it. We will not use it. And for the EEP room, we still the same. Okay, so instead here we just will call the EEP room update. Okay, let's see, compile, if we got some error, yes, we got an error. Mm, ah, yes, we forgot the semicolon here, always happen. Okay, good, let's update. So now, as we can see here, we haven't changed the frequencies we have, or the data we have set here. So we expect the, 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 the code to skip all the writing. Okay, so when we update here, we expect to always go to here, skip. Why? Because the data we already written many times last time. Let's see. Here we go. If you see, now store, uh, we are storing the frequency to the EP room. We see the data is zero, written skip, written skip, written skip. I guess better to delete this. Mm, well, this one's quite uh, confusing. We take out this, this, and this. Let's update again. Okay. Again. This is the frequency. This again, we haven't changed anything. Here we go. You see, all skipped. Why? Because we already written it. So this one, we are not override anymore unless we change the we change the data you see we skip 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 and when we read it it's retained the same frequency okay now let's try to change for example this one make it to 152 okay so now we have changed one okay when we come here here we go this one so we have to see the first one here we go you see now? Okay, there's all data. Okay, which is 132 at the location or the address zero and creating the new data done already. So this one's been updated. And when we read again, we read the new updated, not the old data. So only this been written, the rest has been skipped. So now when we run again, we, we have to see all being skipped. 
because we already write it or written it for the first time. You see, skip again. Here we go. Let's try change again. Let's change this one, three, three, and this to one. Okay, compiling. Well, now let's go here. Here we go. These are new frequencies. Here we go. Okay, so we have changed this, we have changed this, we have changed this also. And we we have skipped the one we haven't changed at all. And here's the one new one we have updated. Okay, again, if we reset again now, we have to see that we skip all the writing. Beautiful. With this, we will maximize the writing cycles of the EEP room. Okay? So now if we want to use our code as a normal using, no need to add any serial print. We come to the update EEP room, then we just need to check if the data is not equal. Then no need this, no need this, no need this, no need this. Okay, start from here, we will write. Otherwise, we just skip. That's all. Mm, okay, let's update. Oh, we go storing because we delete everything. Because we don't have any cell brain, so nothing here. And when we retrieve, we retrieve the same one. And now if we change, let's say we change this to 1-1, one, one, and at the end one also 1-1-1, one, 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 up there. Okay. Okay, done. Thank you, dude. Then we come here, 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. Now we go to the storing data, to the EP room, done, and here we go, one, 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 one. Okay, with this, we will guarantee that we will not overwrite, even though if the same data, especially, I mean, especially if the same data, it will not be overwrite again and again. It will be written only once when the data has been changed. So this function that we have created just now is very very important i really advise you guys to use this instead of we just use a normal writing function okay so this one will be reduce the life cycle of the ep room so it's better to check first if the 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 eep room has the same data we just skip it okay otherwise we go to update to the new data okay with this we will uh, finish our tutorial i hope everything is clear for you for anything or more uh, details please let me know comment below so we can discuss more details thank you and see you again in the new tutorial